To add a device to structure with Data Center Expert, the easiest place to start is in the monitoring perspective. This will allow you to see the device once it has been added. Normally, you will either right click while in this view and choose Add Devices if there are already devices present, or you can use the Device menu and select Add Devices. Next, choose the specific device discovery type. You have the option for SNP version 1, SNP version 3, Netbots Appliance, and Modbus TCP. For this example, we will add an SNP version 1 device. Select SNP version 1 and hit the Next button. The first field is for the IP of the device to be added or the IP range of multiple devices to be discovered. Note that until the IP or range is fully added, the header of this dialog shows how the IP range would be entered. Next, we need to add community names as configured in the devices to be discovered. These values should be noted on the devices themselves prior to attempting discovery. Only one set of community names can be used per discovery. If devices in a specific IP range have different community names, multiple discoveries must be made, each with different community names. Note that both read and write community names can be added but the right community name is only used for APC devices. Port 161 is the default SNMP port and is normally used. If your device has a non-default port configured for SNMP version 1, you must configure Structureware to use that port for this discovery and later polling using this field. Timeout values are used if an SNMP poll does not retrieve information. This is how long you want to wait before it tries this poll again. Retries tells the system how many times to poll if the previous poll fails to retrieve information. Trap registration for priority scanning is for APC devices only. Using this functionality, we will set a hidden trap receiver on the device so the normal trap receiver fields are still available for customer use. When we do receive a trap using this functionality, we repoll the APC device to verify there are actual issues. Device File Transfer Settings is another option for APC devices only. During device discovery, we download specific files from the APC device for configuration and to define the specific alerts for the device being added. You can edit the defaults or create new entries. You can also add entries for specific device IPs or for ranges. Here I am editing an existing entry with the range set to all asterisks. This indicates Structureware will try these values on all devices. If these values do not work, other entries that include the IP we are discovering will be attempted. Username and password for the device must be added as well as the IP range. You can use SCP. FTP or SCP fallback to FTP for protocol options. This is also dependent on device configuration. Port can be changed if the device is configured with a non-standard port. Timeouts and retries can also be configured here. This information can be changed at a later date if necessary. Click Next. When a device is discovered, you can assign it to a specific device group. This will help to organize devices and groups more effectively. Here, you can hit either Finish or Next. If you hit Finish, the discovery is saved but not run. I'm selecting this test group and I will then hit Next. On this screen, I can enable scheduling. When discovering a range of IPs, that may have devices added at a later date, you can schedule the discovery to rerun one day a week or multiple days during the week. You can also select a specific time to run the discovery. This is not usually necessary if only one device is to be discovered. Here I am choosing to run the discovery now and I will then click Finish. Here you can see the entry you have just created along with any other saved discoveries. You can see the discovery range, if it is set to run periodically, 
what type of discovery it is, if it is currently running or idle, when it was last run, the destination device group, and what user group created this discovery. From this screen, you can also add another discovery, edit the parameters of the current discovery, delete the discovery, run the discovery now, stop the discovery if it is currently running, import discovery entries, or export discovery entries. Now if we select the device group, assuming that we have provided the proper parameters, the device is online, and the discovery has been run, the device should show up in this device group. Depending on the size of the discovery range, this may take a few moments. As you can see, the device is now added, and we are beginning to pull values. We are now ready to begin monitoring devices with StructureWare Data Center Expert.